Hayden Cooper reporting. The Coalition has watched today's Labor shenanigans with glee, while other politicians have been bemused. Political editor Chris Yulman has been gathering reaction around Parliament House. He spoke to Greens leader Christine Milne and Independent Senator Nick Xenophon. Christine Milne, Nick Xenophon, welcome. Nick Xenophon, to you first, what do you make of what you've seen today? Well, this wasn't so much a spill as a dribble, and I think the best way to sum up the mood around here is uh, can be summed up in that text message acronym WTF. Christine Mill. Oh, what a complete shambles. Uh, the backroom boys in the Labor Party today gave Tony Abbott the biggest leg up they could. And what I find particularly offensive is they did it on the day when we had the national apology to people impacted by forced adoption. This was their day today. And instead of that, the selfishness in the backrooms have really insulted those people. And I think that's tragedy. But Senator Mellon, you prop this government up. Isn't it time now that the people had a right to decide who leads them? I think what needs to happen is the progressive reform, particularly funding of public education, needs to happen. We need to get these reforms through. Every progressive voter around the country is going to be shaking their heads because they're waiting for whistleblower reform. People shaking reform. their heads about what they've seen today. Absolutely, but they don't want Tony Abbott there in the lodge either because they want to see the Gonski reforms into public education go ahead. They want to see whistleblowers. They want to see the asbestos. There's so many reforms waiting to be achieved and the selfishness of this this is undermining right. good reform. Nick Xenophon, surely this does guarantee that we will see Tony Abbott in the lodge? Well, I think what it does guarantee is that there won't be a change of leadership. Um, and I think that those who are wavering towards Kevin Rudd uh, won't do that anymore. I think that effectively um, he's, uh, he's cruelled his chances. Uh, and just some of the ALP members I've spoken to uh, were quite scathing. Those in the Gillard camp uh, said that it was a gutless act. Uh, and those in his camp uh, just were despondent. Christine Mill, how can this government now sell itself as united and triumphant after this week? Well, I'll have a great deal of difficulty doing that, Chris. Um, from our point of view, we're saying to progressive voters out there, at least with the Greens, you've got a party that's united, progressive, determined to take it up to Tony Abbott, and Labor voters should look at the Greens. Nick Xenophon, how does the government possibly recover from this? Look, I, it's very difficult. Uh, whether the budget will be a circuit breaker, let's wait and see. Uh, they might get a bit of clear air, but uh, I think people have made up their mind. Uh, I think the mm. question of leadership has now been settled, uh, but the problem for the ALP might be that many out there in the electorate have already got the baseball bats just waiting. Christine Milne, you spent a lot of time in negotiations with the Prime Minister. It seems that the, the final fallback position for the Labor Party is she's tough. She's a great negotiator. Is that your experience? Well, certainly she's tough. There's no question about that. In terms of negotiation, you have to judge that on the outcomes. And I'd have to say on the mining tax, that was a spectacular disaster in terms of a negotiation, as indeed was the negotiation over asylum seekers in the middle of last year. But the point here is we want to get to the budget. We want to put that money into New Start. We want to make sure that we get the couple of billion dollars rolling out the door on the 1st of July into those clean energy projects. Our focus is to make sure these reforms get through before we go to an election. Talking about negotiation and the, and the sort of process we've seen recently, if we weren't here tonight talking about leadership, Nick Xenophon, we would be talking about the passage or non-passage of the media law bills. What did you make of that as a process? Mm. That was a shambles. It was an absolute shambles. It showed a complete disrespect for the parliamentary process. Uh, the way it was handled was nothing short of a disgrace. And um, um, I think that if those reforms had any legs, then the government should have argued them out and been prepared to have at least a month to have it out there. But in the end, it just fell apart. And yet again, Christine Milne, you were prepared to back them with only a week's notice, really, of what was in the bills. In fact, less when we finally got to see the bills. How does this not damage the Greens by being associated with that kind of process? Well, we have been saying to the Prime Minister for a long time, bring in that media reform. We are big supporters of media reform. We don't want to see further concentration of media ownership. And I think it's tragic that, the, that uh, Rupert Murdoch has won this week. That is effectively what's happened. For us, it was a bad process. Nick's absolutely right about the process. But you have to say, well, do you want media reform? And we do. And I think it's a tragedy that uh, Andrew Wilkie caved into Rupert Murdoch and we've ended up with nothing to protect us from further concentration in the media in Australia. Nick, you've been in politics for a long time, both at the state and the federal level. And of course, Christine, you've been in the state and the federal level as well. What is the honourable thing for Kevin Rudd to do this evening? 
Well, the very least he can do, the very least he can do, is to say, "I will not challenge under any circumstances. I will not accept the leadership under any circumstances, even if every member uh, of the ALP wanted me in that job." That's the only thing he can do. Is that the only thing that you think would put an end to it? Well, I think it's now an academic question because he's burnt so many people, including uh, Simon Crean and Joel Fitzgibbon, for example. Who would ever trust him again? It's an imponderable, but is this the end of it, do you think, Nick? Uh, look, I, I just can't see how Ken Rudd will come back to this. I just think he would, he's lost so much credibility by not challenging. Um, I just don't know where he can go from here. Christine? Oh, I, I think he's finished. The Labor Party's challenge is to hold it together to get these reforms through and the Greens are going to be doing everything we can to make sure that Gonski is a reality before the election. And how will the government pay for it, Nick Xenophon? That's the big issue and that's why the budget, it's going to be the, the $64 billion question whether the budget will be in surplus, what the challenges will be and whether some of the budget assumptions uh, in terms of for revenue forecasts will hold up. Well let's assume the budget will be in deficit. How far deeply into deficit are the Greens prepared to go with the government in order to deliver these forms? Surely we, reforms, well, surely we can't have everything that we want, Christine Miller. Well that's why I've said we need to fix the mining tax. That was the whole point when I said to the Prime Minister that they had broken their relationship with the Greens because they wouldn't raise the money, they wouldn't stand up to the miners, so that we did get the money to be able to fund uh, national disability and the, their funding into public education. That's still our view. There are plenty of things to do to raise money. We could get rid of the fossil fuel subsidies, we can fix the mining tax, we can introduce the millionaires tax. There are so many things to be done and our job now is to make sure in this budget we get the extra $50 a week into New Start. In this budget we actually get the Gonski reforms in. And finally, Nick Xenophon you'd also want to see some cuts in that budget, wouldn't you, if it's going to be sustainable into the future? Well, that's, that's a difficult question, but I don't see that this government has got the heart to take on the mining industry after what happened to them uh, with media proprietors this week. Nick Xenophon, Christine Milne, thank you.